Hello, welcome to Temple Baptist Church here in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, our devotional time today. Today we're going to be in the book of Luke, uh, chapter 17. We want to look at the first five verses, not real uh, lengthy uh, Bible reading there. And uh, we're going to look at today extending mercy. We all need to learn how to extend mercy, I think. And, and, and Jesus is teaching his disciples how to relate to other people and uh, and to God. You know, he warns his disciples that they aren't to cause uh, anyone to sin and they are confront they are to confront those who do sin. They're going to do that. And, uh, you know, that was required by the law, wasn't it, that they do that. And, and Jesus is going to add a third duty here. He's going to add a duty that they forgive those who repent. And, you know, you know that, that's one of the things that we sometimes struggle with you know, a brother or sister who sins, you know, the purpose is to uh, re restoration and reconciliation. You know, and the, the rabbis here have argued that uh, God forgives animal, Israel's enemies only three times. And, and Jesus is not setting a new seven times standard here. Don't, don't think that when he says uh, seven times seven, don't think he's okay, I'm... I'm setting a new standard here, I think, but rather, uh, I think rather the idea is that when it comes to forgiving someone else, we don't keep score. There's no need to keep score. There's no limit to the number of times that we are to forgive our brother. Jesus, in chapter 17, in verse 1, then he said to the disciples, it's impossible that no offense can, should come, but woe to him through whom they do come. It would be better for him if a milestone was hung around his neck and they were thrown in the sea that, than, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourself. If your brother sin against you, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. If he sins against you seven times a day and seven times a day returns to you saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. And the apostles said in the Lord, increase our faith. I think we've all heard stories of somebody forgiving another person for uh, how they had treated their family, maybe had killed all of their family members, and uh, you know, uh, and the forgiveness they always say is not forgive, not based upon, and the forgiveness is based upon what Jesus had done, not based upon anything they could do, and uh, you know, the, the, whoever it was that had committed this. Uh, sin against the family or caused them great harm has uh, uh, off asked for forgiveness. They are apologizing in the only way that they know how. I mean, there's some things that just can't. You know, yeah, you can for, you can ask for forgiveness, but the thing is still there. So I think the you know, but uh, uh, you know, but uh, the, a lot of people at first when these things happen, they just can't extend any mercy. You know, they just hate the person that done whatever was done, and but then. You know, but when we bring Jesus into our thought process and when God has helped, uh, you know, we can, and I don't know how many years it may take, but we can forgive that person for what they've done. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, in doing that, we are following Jesus' instructions to his disciples, forgive those who repent. You know, uh, you know, he said that even if they had sinned against you seven times in a day and they come back and seven times ask for forgiveness, you must forgive them. But to forgive can be extremely difficult, can it? It, it certainly can be. Uh, we, you know, we see the disciples' reaction here and said, increase our faith, Lord. That's, that's what their, uh, you know, our faith increases as we wrestle in prayer over our inability to forgive. You know, we got to do that. We got to do that. Overcome that inability. If we, if we if we struggle to forgive, we can ask God through the Holy Spirit to help us do so. As our faith increases, He helps us forgive. So, you know, we need to extend mercy to those that maybe have uh, wronged us. Whatever the situation may be somebody some family member has been killed because of their negligence and and we struggle with forgiving them but if they truly have repented 
And we are, I think, obligated to forgive them. And again, don't think that's seven times seven. If you do that, you're, you're done. That's not it. That, again, is just uh, uh, there's uh, no limit for forgiveness. If you have something in your mind today, someone that you're holding a grudge against or you feel like they maybe you should uh, uh, maybe you should forgive them if they have done you wrong and reach out to them. We invite you to our services here at Temple uh, Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, our first service, and we break for Sunday school from 9 till 10. We have several Sunday school classes. I'm sure you could find one that you would fit in with, you would enjoy, and we're studying God's Word. And then we have a 10 o'clock service, and then we're back Sunday nights at 6 and Wednesday night at 7. Come and be a part of any or all those services. May God bless you.